With the ratings update coming out today, we have some brand new news about Kristen Tatar's utter dominance and accomplishing what no FPO player has ever done before. Let's talk about it. And before we get to the video, a huge shout out to Laser Lab Creations. They made these insanely cool minis with my logo. And if you want, you can get your own custom engraved minis or trophies using code WILDRONS for 10% off. These really are super sick and I cannot wait to use them. If you are a TD looking for new innovative ways to get trophies and swag, this is definitely a sweet spot for you and I guarantee you will not regret it. Back to the video. So before we get too deep into Kristen's dominance, let's look at Paige Pierce. So she was actually in the running of getting the Elite 1000 plus rated accomplishment but this was in 2021 with the march ratings update and that was actually only 996 so it was looking like Paige was actually going to reach this benchmark hit a thousand because she was on fire but ultimately just kind of cooled off in the middle portion and i think this is also when she took a trip to like hawaii and just kind of took a break from the tour so as it sits now Paige is only 971 rated and her highest rated rounds are only 1018 and 1011 which may seem pretty amazing like i'm sure none of us ams have like any ability to hit that kind of rating but for the best of the best fpo that is just not going to cut it so today with the brand new ratings update it is official that kristen tatar is the highest rated fpo player in history with a 999 and i am sure if she can just hold on as hard as she possibly can for the next couple of events which i think she's slightly favored at then she will accomplish the thousand rated benchmark and it's actually kind of crazy so the past couple of events she needed to get a thousand rated for like every single round on average to even get close to this so it basically boiled down to she had one stink around in the european championship with a 9 10 to finish out her tournament which if you recall was actually for the win one of her worst rated rounds in years actually did net her the win so if she was able to nix that score because that was one of the rounds that were dropped if she was able to drop the next lowest rated then she definitely would have been that thousand rated point but looking at her most recent rounds including the european championship she has had a 10 55 at the european championship championship, a 1038 and a 1035 at Worlds, and last year she had a 1033. So it is clear that her disc golf is just so consistently good. Nobody is even really close, and with rounds that used to be a great round for Paul Macbeth, it is just insane the level of growth and the level of potential still in Kristen Tatar. So I truly believe it is only a matter of time before she reaches a thousand rated, but ultimately she probably doesn't even care because she said in interviews like, yeah, ratings are cool and all, but like they don't really affect my game, they don't really affect my decision making. And I'm sure that when she had the final round where she was bawling her eyes out at European Championship, that that was not a concern. She didn't really care about the rating. She just wanted to finish and win for Estonia. So with that said, what do you guys think about this brand new news about Kristen Tatar getting that 999 rating and pretty much inevitably getting 1000 rated? I'd love to hear about it. Thank you so much for watching. I'll definitely be doing a preview for Maple Hill, so you do not want to miss that. Also, be sure to check out my bags. They are still on sale for 15% off using code WORLDS2023. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe wild runs signing out peace